got the transmission and torque converter back for Big Red. Let's get to work. So we got the transmission and the torque converter back. The transmission had a lot of aluminum debris in it, but nothing was damaged in it. So it just got cleaned out and put back together. The torque converter got a total rebuild. I think that was the whole problem. There was aluminum shavings inside the transmission. And uh, I think that came from the stator inside of the torque converter because I could hear it rattling whenever I took it out. So everything's freshened up and ready to go back in the truck. Start out by uh, just filling torque converter up with some fluid and um, seating it in the transmission and we'll put it back in the truck. Whenever you slide it up on, you want to wiggle it and spin it so it catches all the splines on the transmission. You'll know when it seats all the way back in. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and put it in the truck. I'm going to slide it up underneath and uh, jack it up in there. Get it lined up. Went ahead and took the grill out because I have an external transmission cooler I'm going to install. I'm going to bypass the radiator. have the transmission cooler mounted and the lines hooked up now I decided to mount it away from the radiator so that it wouldn't transfer heat um, into the cooler go ahead and put the grill back on and fill it full of fluid always use ATF plus four Chrysler
looking around, seeing how it runs and the transmission feels great. The, uh, the engine is running a little funny. I think it's old gas. So we're headed to fill it up with 93. Two months, I'm glad to be back in the truck.